Hello there and welcome to another episode of the Noel Jones Blackburn Monthly Update. In this month's episode, Martin Frozy will give you an update on the current market and some amazing results achieved over the last few weeks. We also have some special guests joining us who will give you a great insight into the value of property inspections for both buyers and sellers. And Bianca from our property management team will join us with a special guest to explain why he chose Noel Jones to manage his investment property. Some fabulous things happening in the Blackburn and Whitehorse marketplace at the moment. A couple of key things that I wanted to go over was uh, the development market. Number 24 Lawrence Street went up for auction just a couple of weeks ago and we found against the reserve just over 800,000. That one actually traveled $10,000 north of the magical million dollar mark. So we're seeing with a lot of developers finding they're getting more for the properties when they go to sell, they're actually prepared to spend a bit more on the development site itself. Another fabulous result that springs to mind was number 32 Maple Street in the heart of Blackburn, a beautiful tree-lined street. It was a 1950s home, beautifully maintained by the owners who were well into their 80s, but looking to scale down to, uh, to assisted care. That one there sold for $1.1 million at auction with five people bidding. A whole myriad of different types of buyers looking at the land value component, some looking to move in, others looking to invest. But uh, I found out later that the owners have been very careful with their money all their lives. This windfall has given them the opportunity to maybe doing a little bit of travel. One of the top sales for the month was number 28 Glen Ebor Avenue, a beautiful Elmore home built on just under 1,100 square metres of land right in that beautiful Blackburn Lake precinct. That auction had five people bidding for the property, got very heated towards the end and ended up selling for $1.755 million. What all these results tell us is that the market is hot right now. Nobody's certain how that's going to go into spring, but one thing we can be sure of is that the spring market will have a lot more supply. So if you're thinking of making a move and cashing in on what is an incredibly strong market at the moment, sooner might be better than later. It's important to get your uh, property inspected just to make sure that the house you've fallen in love with doesn't have any significant uh, damage, which can potentially cost you thousands of dollars uh, in repairs uh, down the track. Yeah, the best time to uh, get a property inspection depends on whether it's a private sale or an auction. If it's a uh, private sale, you have a minimum of three days cooling off period, uh, in which time uh, you call us to come and inspect the property. If it's an auction though, you don't have a cooling off period, so you need to have contacted us in the weeks prior to the auction so that we can inspect to uh, make sure that the property is structurally sound and there are no defects that may cost you thousands later on. The vendor should uh, think about getting a property inspection done up front uh, because it uh, can alleviate issues for prospective purchases. Uh, We can provide an inspection prior to an an auction and that report can be available to prospective purchasers um, as they come and inspect the property so that they can go to the auction being confident that the property is is structurally sound. After a building inspection with JKB Property Inspections, um, we'll call the client uh, just to let them know the results of the inspection. From there we go back to the office, we complete the report and um, we email it across to them that same day. The costs involved in property inspections, um, they start from $350. We have three packages uh, that clients can choose from. It's a base, standard and a premium package uh, and we can run through the differences between those uh, when clients give us a call. When when looking for a property, you need to make sure that you're looking for a property inspector who is a registered builder. In our case, we are both registered builders. We have over 50 years experience in the industry. We also carry the professional indemnity insurance to to cover this um, inspection. Thanks to our special guest today. We hope that information was of use to you. We also have a new booklet out, Maintaining Your Home for Profit. Give some great tips on preparing your home for sale. You can get this booklet by coming along to one of our open for inspections, dropping into our office, or perhaps visiting our website. A question I commonly get asked from current landlords and potential landlords is why to have an agent manager investment properties. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to have a current landlord of Noel Jones. So I'd like to welcome Ray. Welcome, Ray. Thank you, Bianca. Um, So Ray is a current landlord of Noel Jones, but also his daughter recently purchased a property, which was a first home buyer as an investment, but also had his son move overseas and rent his current home. So I guess you tick all the boxes of what potential landlords in their situations are. 
So Ray, when it came to picking your agent, I know you had interviews and you spoke to numerous agencies within the local area. What was your deciding factor or what made you proceed with Noel Jones? Well, mainly it was you, Bianca, because we found that you had a very uh, passionate feeling for Blackburn and the area and you were very uh, knowledgeable about the area and uh, we also liked your personality and uh, everything seemed to fit so that's why we went with you. So Ray when it came to picking your agent what were you looking for? We're looking for somebody who has a knowledge of the legal requirements, someone who communicates well, uh, somebody who can give us advice on how we could present the property to make it more attractive to prospective rentors and um, somebody who will vet the vendor, somebody who can be a conduit between the renter and us. What advice would you give to someone who's looking at uh, whether it's renting out their, their current home or looking to purchase a property for investment purposes? I would think they'd need to do their homework. I would think they'd need to view maybe several agents, uh, go with somebody that they feel comfortable with and feel that they can trust. Yep and um, get to know what the prices are around the area and um, go with Noel Jones. <laughs> so there you have it, whether you're looking for an investment property or you've got current investment properties with another agent and you'd like to have a talk to us, please feel free to give Noel Jones a call on 0458 166 336. <laughs> Well, thanks for tuning into this month's market update. We do hope that you have a wonderful Easter with the family. If there's anything we can do to assist you, feel free to contact us at the Blackburn office.